Hi everybody, it's Thomas here from Thomas Fitzgerald Photography and today I want to talk about the release of Lightroom Classic version 10.3. So there are two kind of main features of this release. The first is that they have added the super resolution feature from Camera Raw is now available in Lightroom as well. But perhaps the bigger deal for some users anyway, is that Lightroom now, Lightroom Classic, I mean, is now fully native on Apple Silicon computers. So what does that mean? Well, Lightroom Classic was actually fairly fast running even under Rosetta, but now you have a fully native version. And I thought I would give you a look at how this runs on a Apple M1 computer. So I have my M1 MacBook Pro, which is a 16 gigabyte version. And um, what I have here is I have a brand new Lightroom catalog that's completely empty and I thought I would do a few quick tests and just kind of give you some rough ideas of the differences between running under Rosetta and running natively. I've been using Classic on this computer for uh, about two months now and the one area that I have noticed where you do kind of actually see a difference is importing and exporting. I have found that one of the few times I got the fans to go on my MacBook Pro is when importing into Lightroom. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm still in version 10.2 here and I am going to import some images off a memory card, let it generate previews and then export them. And we'll time that and see how quickly that is. And then we'll do the same thing under the new uh, M1 native version or sorry, Apple Silicon native version. Okay. so. Here we have, as I said, a totally empty catalog. So we're kind of trying to do this as best as we can. So I'm going to hit import here and I'm on my memory card. So what I have here is a whole bunch of images um, they're mostly 24 megapixel images and the kind of might be a couple of 16s in here as well, but they're mostly 24. Um, okay, so uh, I have a bunch of images here. We're going to import them and I will start my timer and then we will see how long it takes. So I'm going to use the stopwatch on my phone. Okay, so we're ready to go. So ready, three, two, one, start. Okay, so it's importing pretty fast. Uh, it always did import fairly fast, to be fair. Um, just to make it clear as well, I'm going straight onto the internal SSD. I do have an external SSD here, but I figured kind of probably the best test would be to use all kind of native hardware. So, um, yeah, importing pretty fast. And if we look up here, we can see that it is. Oh, we've already ejected the card and it is building previews. Okay, so that's also pretty fast and it's done. Okay, so that took one minute and 34 seconds. Okay, so now I'm going to export these. I'm not going to do anything to them. Um, actually, maybe I will. So I'll just hop over here to the develop module and I'll just do a couple of things. So I'll increase the contrast, increase the clarity and I will add some grain because that's kind of the most processor intensive thing. And we'll just sync that across everything. Okay, so as you can see, that's pretty fast synchronizing as well. And bear in mind, we're still in the Rosetta version of Lightroom. So as you can see, it's very fast. Okay, back to this and we're going to export. Okay, so export. And again, we'll go to the internal drive just to, so there's no cheating. And again, we will get our stop at ready. Okay, so now we're exporting 70 files. Let's see how long this takes. Okay, so that's finished now and that took one minute and 21 seconds. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save this as a preset so I can apply the same thing in the next version. So preset. Okay, so and now I am going to reset this and start up in 10.3. Okay, so I am now in version 10.3 and this is the Apple Silicon native version. So let's do our import test again and see if we see any difference. 
Okay, so we have our same memory card with the same 70 images on it. And we're going into the same folder. I've deleted the, the other folder, so we're doing this from scratch. Okay, so let me get my stopwatch ready. Three, two, one. So the last time it was one minute, 34 seconds, and we're currently at one minute five, and there's still a couple more to go. And it's done. So it's around 117. So it's a little bit faster, but it's not a huge amount faster. Um, as I said, the non-native version, the Rosetta version, was really fast as it was. So um, there's not a huge area to improve. Um, but yeah, it's a it's a little bit faster. So that's that was a good, maybe 15 seconds faster. Okay, and obviously if you're doing hundreds of images, that's going to multiply out. So, okay, so the next thing we're going to do again is uh, we are going to again test switch that we did and then sync that to all our images and we'll export again and see how fast we get this done. File, export with preset. Okay, and I don't need to go through the export dialog box because I already have it saved here. And okay, and it's done. Um, I'll put up the actual times here now so you can see. But yeah, that exporting definitely faster. Um, and as for everything else, it's it's pretty much the same. Um. I haven't noticed a huge difference when kind of comparing them. Uh, uh, as you can see, it's super responsive. Um, and uh, yeah, there's not really, there's not really a lot to show off because it was so good to begin with um, in the Rosetta version. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for that point of view. So the other big feature is the uh, they have added the super resolution feature so let me find let me find a suitable photo uh, let me see okay this is pretty good um i gotta reset this okay so uh to get to super resolution what was previously enhanced details is now just called enhance so if i right click on it and go enhance and this will bring up the um Enhanced preview. So you've two options here. Um, same as you get in Camera Raw in the current version of Photoshop. Uh, you have raw details and super resolution. So we'll click on super resolution. Okay, and let me just drag this around so you can see. Uh, one of the differences is they now have this option called create stack. So what it will do is when it creates the uh, enhanced version, it will stack up stack it with the original. So I hit enhance. Okay, and it's, it's pretty fast. Um, this does use the GPU for this as well. Okay, so here we have our enhanced version. So if I go in here to the stack, and there's our original, there's our enhanced. So let me just jump back to the library module so we can compare these. And so there you can see our enhanced one is twice the resolution. Um, um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. That is all there is to know about Lightroom Classic 11.3. Um, as you can see, the Apple Silicon native version isn't a massive improvement over it, but that is a good thing because the Rosetta version actually worked really well. Um, so yeah, so that is pretty much it. I hope you have found this useful and thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. See you next time.